Hello guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is Tiasha or with love Tiasha on Instagram and for today's video I am gonna show you some different ways on how to decorate your envelopes using paper napkins I did some cleaning during quarantine like probably the rest of you and I did a deep clean in my craft room I went through every single thing that I have in there and I found a bunch of stuff that I completely forgot that I had including a huge box of napkins I did a bunch of envelope decorating using paper napkins at the beginning of my pen paling journey in 2015 so I will post a few photos of how that looked like here on the video so you can see uh, but yeah you can check them out on my Instagram they are way down 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 there like somewhere hidden uh, but yeah I think this is a super fun way to uh, spice up your envelopes so I decided to use them for decorating these envelopes I think this floral one was just perfect for this happy mail for my pen pal Michelle instead of using that white tacky liquidy glue for adhering the paper napkin on the envelope I decided to use just the normal stick glue and it worked out perfectly just a tip for everyone who decides to use the stick glue use it on the envelope directly and not on the napkin because the napkins are super delicate and they can rip very easily so it's just it's easier if you use the glue on the envelope and then very gently adhere the napkin onto the envelope What actually inspired me to use this botanical themed paper napkin were these new die cuts that I got, flower die cuts from AliExpress and I thought these were just perfect to use on this uh, beautiful envelope. Also if you have a die cutting machine like myself, use vellum paper like I did with these like green leaves, they turned out so great, I recommend. If you are a crafter yourself, you can probably imagine that adhering these flower die cuts would be a pain and it was. So I decided to try out a different method. So I used that tacky liquidy white glue and I poured it onto a piece of paper or in my case post-it notes. And I just used my tweezers and went with the tweezers and the die cut over the glue and it worked out perfectly fine so I would suggest you try out this method yourself because it works super great Now on to writing the address, you will see my head popping in and out for a few seconds so I'm sorry for that. 
But yeah, I just wanted to say that um, I did show you the entire address of my pen pal, but it's her PO box and she has it public, so I think it is completely fine. Let me know if you want to know which pens I use for writing my addresses. I think I will get the most questions about uh, this particular pen. Uh, this one is from the company Pentel. I don't know exact name, but yeah, if you want to know, just let me know and I will write it in the comments down below. Okay, so this is how the envelope turned out together with the happy mail. I think it looks so nice. Now on to the next one. So you remember from my last envelope decorating video, I showed you an envelope that I decorated for my mom. Well, I did it again. I actually decorated two envelopes. This one is the first one and it is green botanical themed. Uh, those round die cuts that you see over there are actually meant to be Christmas wreaths uh, but if you skip the Christmas decorations I think they look just like normal botanical wreaths and you can use them any way you want. At this point I realized I made a mistake with my first envelope. Um, napkins, paper napkins have two white sheets of paper underneath the design and I think I'm not exactly sure, but I think uh, with the first botanical design, I only ripped off one. So yeah, keep that in mind when you are decorating with paper napkins, there are usually two white pieces that you have to get rid of. I had some problems with my SD card so I didn't film the part where I actually write the address but here is the end result. And yeah, now on to the next one. This one is C theme. This one is again an envelope for my mom. I found this beautiful napkin. I actually used it once already but yeah, it has these beautiful seashells. I also bought this uh, tape, glitter tape before the COVID started and it reminded me of the sea so I wanted to use it in a sea themed uh, mail.
so what I had in mind is to use the glitter tape as actual C or not actual C but to make it look like C and then the vintage book paper to look like sand and the shelves to be spread on the sand. The fun part about using napkins is that you can also cut the individual designs out so you don't have to use the entire sheet or the entire napkin. You can use individual designs on there and I think they look super cool like that. And don't forget about those two white sheets of paper that are under the design, you also have to get rid of those. And this is how the last envelope turned out. This one was once again also for my mom. So the address that you see on there is from a magazine and it is public, so don't worry about that. So yeah, these are the final decorated envelopes. Let me know what you think. If you will recreate them, then please tag me on your photos on Instagram. I will also share them. And yeah, I guess that's it for today's video. Hope you are having an amazing day and we will see each other in my next one. Bye!